The Clutch Claw will be absolutely essential in Monster Hunter World Iceborne, so it's pretty important you know how and when to use it. Let's start with the basics. With your weapon sheathed, pull out your Clutch Claw by aiming with L2 or left trigger on Xbox. Then aim with the right stick. Pressing circle will send out the claw, and if you're in range of the monster, it will instantly grapple towards it and latch on. If you are using a ranged weapon or insect glaive, aim with L2, LT, and click your right stick to switch to slinger aim mode, then press circle as normal. If the monster doesn't throw you off with an attack, or if you're wearing the rocksteady mantle, you now have the opportunity to perform a variety of actions. First and foremost, you can simply drop off with X or A on Xbox. Otherwise, move around the monster with the left stick. You cannot move to the other side of the monster. Be careful though, as every second you're on the monster drains stamina, and movement takes a chunk of stamina as well. Run out and you fall off, making yourself vulnerable while you catch your breath. The skill constitution helps with this, as each point you add into it will add another movement or claw attack. Marathon Runner will also keep you on longer as the stamina drain will be greatly reduced. If you move to the head of the monster, you can activate a claw attack. Press circle or B and you will expend stamina to attack the monster, moving it in the direction your character is facing. This is absolutely essential for lining up slinger burst attacks, which you can perform with R2 or right trigger, only if you have slinger ammo loaded. Perform a slinger burst attack to send the monster running, potentially into a wall to deal major damage and get knocked down. At any time during a clutch claw mount, you can press triangle or Y to perform a D mount attack. There are two types of these attacks, wounding and ammo. Wounding attacks are big hit attacks that will almost always wound the part of the monster you are on. Wounding parts is incredibly helpful as anyone who attacks that part while is wounded will be dealing increased damage and have an easier time breaking that part. A wounded part will have a white blemish and scars on it for a set amount of time. Target these parts when you see them. Weapons that do this type of attack are greatsword, hammer, hunting horn, lance, Switch Axe, Charge Blade, and Heavy Bowgun. The other type of demount attack provides Slinger ammo for you and your squad mates. This can be extremely beneficial for certain weapon types, but also for further clutch mount attacks. This type of attack can also wound parts, but has a higher threshold to do so. Weapons that execute this type of attack are Sword and Shield, Dual Blades, Long Sword, Gun Lances, Insect Glaives, Bows, and Light Bowguns. And that's it! everything you need to know about the Clutch Claw attacks. But remember, just because you can mount a monster with a Clutch Claw doesn't mean you always should. Wait for your opportunity to not be thrown off, and get the monster near a wall to knock them over. Keep parts wounded, but also be on the ground to do damage to those wounded parts. Good luck, and happy hunting.